This presentation covers the action research project that was done titled How Flexible Scheduling Influences Enrollment and Retention in Higher Education. The flipped classroom creates a learning environment where technologies can be utilized to distribute the educational load. The students are introduced to new introductory material outside the classroom by such methods as interactive lectures, reading assignments, discussions, etc. The material is then applied within the classroom for more in-depth topics of the course. The flipped classroom model presents students with introductory material outside the classroom resulting in a reduction of hours the student is required to attend class. For example, if a program is not utilizing the flipped classroom and it met three times per week for one hour for a total of three hours a week, a lot of time used for that introductory material could essentially be given as homework, thus reducing the amount of face-to-face -face time required of that three hours or allowing for that three hours to be of face-to-face -face time to be spent in more engaging work. This method can also create a more interactive learning experience with more positive outcomes. Beginning in 2017, the Emergency Medical Services EMS program of Pierpont Community and Technical College became a fully flipped classroom. All of the introductory material was presented to the students in electronic format via voiced over presentations. In previous years, the program used class time to introduce students to the same topics that were now presented on the internet. With this inception, there was reduced emphasis on face-to-face -face meeting which occurred over a span of three evenings for a total of 12 hours. Now, the program only required eight hours of face-to-face -face time, thus creating another scheduling option of a single eight-hour day for students to meet. After surveys conducted via social media and email to reach past and potential students, the decision was made to offer a separate section of each paramedic cohort for Fridays only. Pierpont Community Technical College covers a service area of nearly 6,000 square miles, which means several students may have to commute up to nearly two hours to reach the campus. Nearly all the students who enter the program are already working, have families and other responsibilities that do not allow them to be a traditional student and live on campus. The Friday section allow these students with busy personal lives and or great commutes to travel to campus only one day per week. With fully implementing a flipped classroom for the 2017 cohort and creating scheduling options, enrollment into the paramedic program increased 21% in relation to the 2016 cohort. Cumulatively for the 2017 and 2018 cohorts, there has been a 68% increase in enrollment since the implementation of that flipped classroom in comparison to the traditional 2016 cohort of 12 hours face-to-face -face classroom time per week. For the 2018 cohort, with only one week left in the program, it is sitting at a 81.1% retention rate. It is believed that that number will not change as 97% of the attrition factors occur during that first semester. With that said, this will mean an increased retention rate of a nearly 12% as long as the enrollment does not change. It is believed that a ret retention increase was noted as students are less overwhelmed trying to balance classroom time and work and family time constraints of the previous 12 hours per week as compared to the now 8 hours per week. At the beginning of the 2018 cohort, past and current EMS students were surveyed regarding their preference of educational delivery. As a result, the survey showed that 71% of these students preferred the flipped classroom model. One negative finding during this action research was not of the flipped classroom in itself, but that of the single eight hour day section that meets one time per week. The largest portion of the attrition calculation were students who were enrolled in this single eight hour day course. In 2017, 
of the attrition factor came from the Friday section and 86% so far for the 2018 cohort. It's theorized that this was attributed to the student's academic discipline and not acclimating their life schedule to more than just one day per week, whereas the two evening per week section has their academic week in more of a programmatic pace. Future action research must be conducted regarding this matter. As there is with nearly every new creation, there's lessons to be learned. Faculty and staff received open criticism and evaluations from students regarding how to improve the process and have used that input towards making changes such as more transparent course outlines, technology fixes, and more. With the 2017 cohort being the first, it is believed that the inception was a success based on retention rates of the cohort of nearly 73% and with an increased enrollment of the 2018 cohort of nearly 11%. The increased enrollment is believed to be the largest benefiting factor as the paramedic program is notoriously advertised via our students and social media. In the past five years, there has been zero dollars spent on the paramedic program budget towards advertising. Nearly all the students that enter the program will tell of their recommendation from a previous student, which alone is believed to be a proving factor of the program's modeling. Thank you for your time and your viewing. If there's any questions you may have, please feel free to contact me. Thank you.